This is the second heat video in a row that we're starting with the lightning and the rain. Last time, it's because we were a little sad. We were a little depressed because it was a very embarrassing loss to the Chicago Bulls. But this time we're doing it because the boys made it rain, specifically from downtown where they shot 17 to 35 from three. That's 49%. And we're gonna talk about the game a little bit. Truthfully, I don't have too much to say because it's the second game in a row with the same exact two teams in the same exact place. And also, it, it's late. I mean, th these games start at 8 p.m. And that, that 30 minutes makes a difference. Uh, so I apologize that it's a little dark here. Uh, I can't record in the bedroom when my girlfriend is sleeping. So we recording out here. The lighting ain't as nice. But hey, you get a greatest moment of my life back there. Ray Allen, Ray Allen game six. And you get a little it's a drawing of a turkey right there, if you can see. So happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Because this may be my last video till next week. Because I'm going to be home back in Broward County. I hope so. I don't know why I did that. I don't even listen to Kodak. Uh, as you can see, I don't have that much to talk about, but all this to say that I may be uh, uh, not have a video for a few days here. We'll see how I feel. But the game, going into the fourth quarter, the Heat were up double digits, and I'm thinking the Chicago Bulls are thinking we have them exactly where we want them. I opened up the, the Hard Rock sports betting app because, you know, we can do that in Florida now, and I was going to smash the Bulls for the fourth quarter money line. But I decided not to do it. And it's good because actually, yeah, the Heat definitely outscored the Bulls in the second half. They left nothing to be questioned there. It, it really seems like they took last game personal and they, they wanted to say, let's not even make it close today. You didn't even have to have Jimmy Butler come back in in the fourth quarter. I'm glad I didn't bet that because that would have been the second bet that I lost today. Not that anyone cares about my parlay or how I lost it because that's what playing parlays is. They're to lose. But I did have a parlay for the Celtics to beat the Hornets, the Nuggets to beat the Wizards, or the the Mat the Bucks to beat the Wizards and the Nuggets to beat the Pistons. Right, so three blowouts theoretically. Uh, well, Boston lost. So as if I didn't hate Boston enough, they freaking lost to the Hornets and made me lose my parlay. That's why parlays are stupid, people. What you got to do is you got to get on the anonymous player prop betting app that doesn't sponsor me, so I will not say their name and take the Kyle Lowry unders. You do two picks, that's it. Enough of these 16 leg parlays where you put $1 down to win 10,000, you never win them, and you lose $100 before you know it. That's, that's what I'd be telling people that do all these crazy parlays. That's not how you win money. You play the small game, do these two pick parlays, and then smash the over on to a tongue of a low and Tyree kill every week because they still haven't boosted those stats. Uh, but you guys wanna talk about the heat game a little bit? <laughs> I, I, I don't, but uh, we'll, we'll get into it a little bit. Let's talk about right from the jump, Duncan Robinson, who had back to back to back threes. I will be officially filling out a Duncan Robinson apology form, maybe sooner than the end of the season, but I will definitely be doing it as the season ends. We did one a couple years ago for PJ Tucker because I was wrong about him. And so far this year, High Smith, Duncan Robinson, you earned yourself an apology form from me. Hit the nasty like buzzer or buzzer, uh, shot clock buzzer beating three uh early in the first quarter uh where he had like at least 11 points finished the night with 22 points on 7 11 shooting six on nine from three happy birthday duncan robinson which is one of my favorite memes uh it's not his birthday his birthday is april 22nd uh but i think that meme started <laughs> It was back in game three of the conference finals last year when it was the actually Duncan Robinson's birthday and he had uh, 22 or he had like 20 points on like five or six from three. So now anytime he goes off, people say it's his birthday if you guys are on Twitter and don't quite get the reference there. But he was awesome today. Continues another very, very strong, great performance. In addition to Heat standout rookie Kamehameha Kez Jr., who only finished tonight with where is it at? 19 points, which I believe they said is like two or three below his career high. But he shot eight of the 13, but more importantly, three of four from three. If he can consistently get to the point when, the, and I think all three were in the corner, I believe so. If he can get to the point where they swing to him in the corner and he's a reliable shooter out there, he now becomes the perfect fit for the starting lineup next to Bam, the closing lineup. I, I don't know. It's tough because they obviously got quite a bit of pieces there. Like, this is I'm definitely going to have to make a video about this at some point in the future because the closing lineup, it's going to be Tyler. Or it's going to be Jimmy. It's going to be Bam. You think it's going to be Tyler when it comes back. So that's three right there. And then it's going to be Duncan Robinson. He hasn't done anything to lose his spot. But can you play him and Tyler in the backcourt? I don't know. It's going to be Jaime Jaquez, who before last game played every minute of the fourth quarter for the last four prior to that. Is it going to be him? 
obviously had another great fourth quarter tonight. Is it going to be Caleb Martin, who we all thought was going to be the, you know, the six-man star on this team, you know, really maybe even the fourth best player outside of your top three, but obviously he hasn't been great since coming back from injury. Not that it means nothing. It's still early, but who is going to be the closing lineup? That's going to be something interesting to see. I'm currently campaigning for, in addition to Jimmy and Bam, I'm campaigning for it to be uh, Haywood, Hame, and Josh Richardson. That's what I would like to see, but definitely Hame Hawkins Jr., especially when he's sitting his threes, and obviously we know he's great at everything else. We say it every video. He had a nice cross lefty layup today. We know he could pass. We know he can defend. Uh, did have two steals today as well, so he is awesome, man. Uh... What else do we got here? Bam in the bio finish with 23, 11, and 6. Continues another dominating performance. We were a little annoyed, or his dominating streak of performances. We were a little annoyed with him last game that only had 12 shots, only had 14 today. Uh, but obviously, it was a blowout, only played 30 minutes. Uh, they didn't need him to be aggressive late because he started the fourth quarter aggressive and it never got close it was pretty much you know 15 to 20 points and beyond the whole fourth quarter so you'd love to see the consistency with bam because every time or the more and more great games he strings together the more and more confidence i have in him that he won't have a drop off like he did last season uh jimmy butler only had 16 points on four of 11 doesn't matter because they didn't need anything else you love to see when he's having fun, though. He had the Kareem Skyhook early in the game, and he screamed Skyhook when he shot it. It's hilarious. I love when Jimmy's having fun. I think that's when he's at his best. Unless it's last game and he thinks he's Steph Curry. He's taking back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back threes. I'm still a little annoyed at that because this could have been the ninth straight win. But in the grand scheme of things, if they win seven, lose one, win seven, lose one, the losses don't matter. They're not obviously going to do that that pace, but just win more games than you lose. You get where I'm coming from. Uh, Highsmith had seven points in a three of four, so he wasn't inept on offense like last game. Kyle Lowry only played 26 minutes. You love to see that. And Josh Richardson, man, he's looking good. Had a nasty putback dunk, and that reminds me of Josh Richardson of old. If y'all remember, him coming down the lane was scary to defenders. He'd go up with one hand, cock it back, and punch it on their face. Uh, so it's nice to see at 30 years old, he still has the athleticism, although he only shot 4-12. Uh, he has been very improved of late, and I think everyone can kind of agree on that. And shout out to Kevin Love. Lead us, Kevin. Uh, if that's a reference from the playoffs last year. People are making that joke all on Twitter. So if you didn't get it, it started from the playoffs last year. Uh, not to mansplain heat culture to you, <laughs> but uh, he was 4-6 today, which was nice because he's been shooting bricks out there the last couple weeks. Uh, I think that's really all I got to say from the heat side here. Uh, from the bull side, is there anything relevant to talk about? Not particularly. <laughs> Once again, they're, or not again, I guess, but their leading scorer was Kobe White. He seems that portions to be the only one who really cares on that team. I mean, outside of Caruso, you know what you get with him. Uh, but I think this team is very close to blowing it up, especially Zach Levine, who once again only took nine shots after not being aggressive at all last game. He finished with 13 points. Uh, and I guess DeRozan didn't do much either, only 15 points. I think this team, sh that she, the Bulls should blow it up. I think they will blow it up. Does that mean trading DeMar, Vooch, and Levine? I don't know, but I think it should. I think any short of that, anything short of that is a half-assed rebuild. Uh, and truthfully, I just, I, I don't think that's the way to go at all. Uh, that's all I got for this video, though. I do have a question, though. Uh, I'm sure y'all seen I've posted a few highlights uh, while I'm speaking during this video. Does anybody know if that's allowed? I know the NBA has that commercial uh, without the strict written consent of the NBA talking about their highlights. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to show them. The reason I'm asking is because I posted a Miami Dolphins video a couple days ago. So make sure y'all check that out. My Fins fans out there. Uh, and it got demonetized instantly for copyright purposes. So I edited it and re-uploaded it. Uh, and I'd hate to do all these heat videos with the highlights who haven't got copyrighted yet. But I'd hate for them all to get flagged at once like a month from now. And then I don't get monetized on any of those. Uh, not that I do this for the money, but in order to improve the content, you get the money house. Uh, you can leave super thanks down below. I guess it's like a donation for videos. Uh, but don't don't spend your money on me uh, unless you're rich and then you can. Otherwise, spend the money on your families. You got Thanksgiving and the holidays coming up. Even if it wasn't don't don't give me your money uh, i just appreciate the views and the shares uh which is really the most important thing because i'm still trying to grow my brand over here most importantly so if you do enjoy it make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe all that good stuff generally helps so much to getting these videos out there uh and for the one person who's commenting being annoyed saying oh you didn't start talking basketball this video for like eight minutes i'm sorry 
It's the 82 game season. They playing the same team over and over again, and the game was a blowout start to finish, so didn't have much to say. But I had a good time talking to y'all, uh, and we'll do it again at some point. If not next game, we'll do it after Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to everyone, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace out. Look, pull up in the city, tryna get that dead fast like, Do it on my own, I don't need no dead weight like, Had to kill him off, yeah, I need a headspace You know this homegrown bitch, don't a fan, mate hmm.